made it to 100k like i'm honestly so so happy like i'm just so grateful for all of you for just hitting that subscribe button like can i just get up in your face thank you guys so much i can't believe it like honestly this is just like it's it's not all about the number to be honest it's like a hundred thousand people press that subscribe button because they enjoyed one of my videos or liked one of my videos and i feel like that's a huge achievement because i've been doing this for almost it's like three and a half years to four years now no three and a half years and i feel like the amount of hard work that i've put into this i can't even explain how much time and effort goes into this and obviously because i love it it doesn't seem like i'm putting the effort but you know it's still tiring like you know you put a lot of effort into this and it's, it's like it's kind of like an accomplishment it's being paid off and to see all you guys' reaction and you know your comments about my videos and how you like them and it, you know my favorite videos that also that i like to do is my funny videos my skit videos which a lot of you tell me that you guys laughed because of it or you it's just made you smile and that just honestly makes my day and just in just watching my videos in general like i'm just so appreciative of it and my, my heart is just full of joy right now honestly so i can't thank you guys enough obviously my post notification shout out today goes to all of you guys that press that subscribe button to all of you that hit the bell button to get notified for all of you that subscribe and watch my videos i honestly i'm just so thankful so thank you guys i love you so much let me not get emotional because you know i'm not i got some beautiful makeup we don't want to ruin it <laughs> so basically today's kind of like a q a but i wanted to announce a giveaway um i wanted to be i wanted this giveaway to be like one of the biggest ones i've ever done so i really 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 have been like collecting and putting makeup together and buying makeup and putting it all together for a while now so that i could have various like several winners this time so there will be five winners for this giveaway four uk winners and one international winner i wanted um, one of you guys to have the chance to win even though you are overseas obviously it's a bit more difficult for me to send like various packages overseas because first of all it's quite pricey second of all there's restrictions on certain products yeah i thought it would be really cool for five of you guys to win something at least you know it's a bit you have a higher chance at winning something first uk winner will win this i'll put it somewhere on the screen should i put it here this and then second winner will win this. Yeah, so beautiful, lots of makeup. And the third winner will win this. Fourth winner will win this. And then the fifth in its international winner will win all of this. Quick banana break because I'm so hungry. So I made sure that everyone gets a bit of high end and a bit of drugstore. And um yeah, I feel like I really got some cool bits for you guys to win. All you have to do is just comment anything you'd like in the comments below. Please leave a Twitter or Instagram handle. And if you don't have one, then maybe make one so I can contact you. Because sometimes on YouTube, I cannot contact you or message you. So please leave your comment, obviously. Leave um, your Twitter or Instagram handle. And leave the country that you're from. I feel like that's a cool way to see where all of you guys are from i think that would be really interesting so um yeah that's all you have to do i think this giveaway will go on for about two weeks so i'll put all the details in the info box so you guys have more you know in-depth details because obviously i feel like i can't explain things but um yeah that's just to say a big thank you to you guys for all the support that you guys show me um i'm just honestly like I don't even know what to say like I'm just so grateful that just know that I'm grateful and thankful for all of you for showing so much support so I hope you guys will like the giveaway and we'll just jump straight into the Q&A which I have haven't done in so long first question is from Sab Sab I see you girl she's so sweet to me um what are your plans for after graduation do you ever want YouTube to be a full-time career I'm that type of person that really doesn't know or really never knew what they wanted to do honestly like even when I was younger and before I was going to uni I had no idea what I wanted to do and I kept changing literally every few months I would change I first applied when I was going applying for uni I first did my cover letter for uh, to apply for veterinary medicine then I changed for biomed and then I changed to fine um, economics and accounting so a huge u-turn I never really knew what I wanted to do honestly so 
even now when I graduate, I don't know what I want to do. In terms of YouTube, like I am doing it full time to be honest. Even though I am a student, I have been doing it full time since January now. It's not easy, I can tell you guys that. Like it's not easy, especially if you don't have that um job where you know you're getting guaranteed money every month i forgot i don't know the word for it but anyways it's not easy like any every month is different after graduating i want to do see see how i do with youtube just for summer and then i don't know i'm going to see i just go with the flow honestly am i going to accounting i'm not sure am i going to finance not sure so yeah that's how i'm literally just going with the flow moving do you know I love it when us brown girls show each other so much support, honestly. Obviously girls in general, yeah. Girls in general, when you show each other support, it's just so nice and so refreshing. But there's so many brown girls on Instagram and YouTube, we all support each other and it just warms my heart up, honestly. Nivi said, are you a savoury or sweet person? What's the favourite thing you, about your culture? Definitely a sweet person. Oh my god, my teeth is disgusting. Like, a lot of people ask you if I have... Food in my teeth, no, it's just my, literally my teeth are decaying, I need to get them sorted, I need to get fillings, they all need fillings and I need to, I feel like I am avoiding it because I really don't like the dentist, but I feel like I'm trying to, I am trying to save to get like full veneers, so I think I want veneers, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. Um, how, why am I going so off topic? I like sweet food, <laughs> that was the question. Um, what's your favourite thing about your culture? Gosh, there's so many things, honestly. I think the music is one thing, brings a lot of memories. Like Sega music. I don't know if this is a cultural or religious thing, but kanji, if you were Mauritian, you would know what kanji is. It's kind of like a prayer, but it's a family gathering. You make this kind of food, like this milky, salty rice with like all, um, eggplant and like chickpeas and spinach and you just eat it with like chutney, like peanuts chutney. The food is like the best part, but it was really nice because my grandma used to do it for us a lot. Um, and. It was just a really nice time when we all got together and did kanji and it's just I could say kanji is like one of my favourite things like the food is really nice and it just brings memories of my family and when we used to like spend a lot of time together because obviously my grandma's in Mauritius now so I don't really get to see her often. One of my favourite things is the prayer kind of ceremony. I don't know how to explain it. It might be cultural or religious. Let's just say it's cultural. Um, but if you're Mauritian, you know, you guys have seen the food on my channel once in one of my vlogs and you guys were like, is that kanji? And it was, it was definitely kanji. Where do you see yourself in 20 years? Imashika, I hope you say, I'm saying your name right. But thank you so much for the love. She's been supporting me for like ages. Girl, like I said, because I'm going with the flow, I honestly don't know. But hopefully I have, I'm some gotten somewhere with YouTube and you know social media because it's such a huge platform now um, and there's so many opportunities related to it and I really do enjoy it I love the, the the fact that you have a platform you can spread positivity and you know talk to your followers and you know share cool videos I feel like that's amazing if I'm not doing that maybe I just got a good job hustling making money happy I feel like happiness is my most important thing just to be happy but in terms of business or whatever i don't know i don't know where life is going to bring me but i hope i'm with my family and i'm happy where would you love to travel to honestly i'm dying to travel back to mauritius like but i really do want to go to guadeloupe bora bora i think those are two and i really want to go greece as well those are like my three top places would you rather leave the house without filling in your eyebrows or without wearing any lipstick? Definitely without wearing any lipstick, like, my eyebrows need to be filled in. Where do you find inspiration for your videos? I feel like it comes from anything. It could be com it could come from food, my mum's shoe, honestly, it can come from anything. Um, sometimes it's off Instagram, um, YouTube, I can... Sometimes I watch someone's video and then I have another idea and twist it and make it um, something of my own. Um, but yeah, it just can come from anything. Sometimes I just sit there in my bed and just jot down a bunch of ideas into my notebook and then 
that's how it comes to life really to be honest what is your favorite nude liquid lipstick for medium tone girls definitely i have been loving the uh, avon lipstick in marvelous mocha that lipstick is so lovely like it's so beautiful um and then i really like did she say drugstore no she said any also the huda beauty huda beauty trendsetter you know the liquid mattes trendsetter or girlfriend but girlfriend I have to use with a brand lip liner i use it i always use it with matte cork lip pencil so reba said congratulations on 100k on youtube subs thank you so much hun make a video on how you feel and what's your future plan so happy for you thank you i just feel i feel like it's i'm dreaming i feel like i need to pinch myself i feel like what like i've been doing it for so long now like it's just I just feel really proud. I really I feel really proud of myself, proud of us lot what we built because obviously I wouldn't be here without you guys, so yeah. Just full of joy honestly. I'm really happy. Tips for newbie bloggers. Mm, definitely just start. That would be my first um advice to you guys because you guys don't even know how many times people have um found out about my channel and then started their channel and then they just post one video and then that's it you just don't hear of them anymore um and then the worst thing is that they complain when they don't see growth i feel like you need to start and then be consistent <laughs> consistency is one thing that i will definitely say is very important if you, you just want to make sure that you're posting at least once a week just keep posting if, even if you're not getting any views i wasn't getting any views when i started just keep posting and the people will people who believe in your videos and believe in you will come across your channel and will be will be the ones that support you and subscribe and obviously you know be there till you get to like 100k you know my biggest tip would be to start just start you don't need fancy equi equipment and then keep posting and don't get let down if you're not seeing any like views or um, anything like that because it will come in its own time favorite memory from high school honestly i don't have any high school was one of my mm, one of the worst times of my life honestly i hated it so much i don't have anything that i liked about it to be honest i feel like during that time i really disliked myself like and i was different according to the people i was surrounded with and i was i had very bad influences around me and I was, um, if you looked at me, if you looked at me how I was before, like in high school, you would not believe that would be the same person. But then I feel like if I didn't go through that time in my life, I wouldn't be the person I am today. But do I have any good memories from that time? Definitely not. I don't. Who is your inspiration and why? First of all, my mum is my inspiration. My sister is my inspiration. She's such a hard worker. And then... Who's my inspiration? I feel like I'm very inspired by people like Viola Davis, um, Oprah. Like they just say say such wise words, especially for women, for younger girls, and it just is so uplifting and they're just so inspirational. So definitely those people, especially Viola Davis. She's such an inspiration, honestly. And I also feel like. Demi Lovato is very inspirational to me because I feel like she's been through so much and she's such... She, I, obviously you can never know the actual person but from what I see she's been through a lot, she's shared her stories and like she's so successful now and I hope she is happy but I think she's quite inspirational. How do you feel the makeup industry has advanced since you were a newbie to makeup to now? everything's changing in the makeup world there's always a new trend there's always new products even though we still have them at home they makeup brands always seem to create products that are different and new but we were still doing it before i feel like one of the biggest thing is shades and being inclusive before literally i would wear only high-end makeup i would only wear my mom's high-end makeup i could not go to the drugstore even though i tried to there would never be my color and it was like normal to me and I feel like the drugstore has definitely upped their game. I can now go into store and maybe see my colour. There's still some improvement, but still a lot to be done. Especially with things like campaigns and stuff. Never did I see an Asian woman in films or in... That's something different. But in campaigns, like, you know those big photos in the stores? 
like never did you ever see like a woman of color like brown indian and like even um muslim with a hijab even the deep dark skin you would never see someone like that and it was just like the norm i feel like now you can see a bit more but still like i feel like in there needs to be improvement you see a lot of fair women in campaigns and pictures and I feel like online brands have upped their game but you know the old school brands I feel like they still need to improve a bit more. Hopefully if we keep having bloggers of you know women of colour on this platform you know speaking out and trying to make a change and I feel like if we all come together and try and make a change we can definitely do it and like we've already done so much we've pushed so much you know so I feel like we're gonna keep pushing and I think and I feel like it's just gonna keep improving and hopefully get better. What advice would you give to a fellow beauty blogger fresh on the gram? Honestly, on Instagram, it's very, very, like, fast paced. And it's very easy on Instagram to get, you know, recognised quickly. And once you, it just takes one post for you to, like, blow up. So, honestly, what I would say, look up, make, if you, it's like, for example, if you're doing makeup, look up makeup pages that shout out artists. See if they have a hashtag. Use their hashtags in your post put a bunch of hashtags, everyone does it, it's not, it, before people would be like, oh my god, she's wearing it, she's using so many hashtags, but everyone does it now, just put it in your comments so it's kind of hidden, and um, yeah, use a bunch of hashtags, search up makeup pages to that shout out and use their hashtags, post regularly, so I would say once a day for Instagram, because it's just so fast paced. Were your family supportive of you dating? It was tough when I was younger, honestly. It wasn't easy. Um, I was definitely a rebel, definitely like jumping out the window, sneaking out at night. That was me. That was I was that kind of girl. I felt like I didn't have enough freedom. I don't know, that's how I felt. I felt like um I was given like a lot of curfews, but for example my sister who's like who when she was sixteen she was given so much more freedom compared to me. But because I was the first born, obviously they're gonna the the, the every rule possible was set on me but my sister had so much freedom and she could do whatever she wanted you know but then again I was a big rebel so my dad didn't really know about me dating and stuff but it was my mum and my mum she was quite strict on it at first to be honest she was quite scary and then I've been with my boyfriend since like I've been 15 16 so I'm still with him so yeah when she when I first introduced him I was a bit scared it was outside literally like we were just walking past so yeah I was definitely like really scared I don't know if she liked it but especially because he was someone of color like he's from Guadeloupe so no definitely surprised her but hey ho my favorite mascara I think it's always the Maybelline Lash Sensational or I've really been liking the Lancome Monsieur Big at the moment what inspired you to do YouTube? I love you, girl. I love you too, boo. What inspired me, honestly, is watching all these gurus on YouTube do amazing videos. And I was like, I want to do the same. And then my boyfriend was like, why don't you just do it? And yeah, that's how I started. And the thing with me, I feel like, is once I, when he put that idea in my mind that I could start and I could do it myself. Because I was I was always like, mm, I, like, I could do it, but like should I would people really like me because throughout my whole life I've, I've always been that type of person where people would look at me weird or I was always that ugly Indian girl honestly I was always that ugly Indian girl but like throughout my whole life I really did change the way I was to please other people so I was just like will people really like me for who I am and this is one thing as well that I wanted to thank you guys for it's just for just liking me for who I am that is the, like the biggest thing I don't know how I forgot to say that in the beginning but I feel like that's that means a lot to me. I was like, will people really like my videos? And then when my brother was like, just do it. And then I got my camera, bought it, and I started filming. And that's and since that day, I have never stopped. I didn't take a month break. I didn't take two weeks break. I think the biggest break I've taken was one week, and that was because of exams. So, favorite and least favorite thing about high school? I don't have any favorites. And my least favorite was how people would downgrade brown people, like. It was all everywhere I went, I was always the P word was always said. I would lie about my ethnicity. Like honestly, I'm being honest with you guys. I don't I never thought I would ever actually say this, but I would say it when people say, Are you a P? Like, are you a P? Literally they would say that to my face. And then I'll be like, No, I'm Mauritian. Even though my dad's half Gujarati, I am half Gujarati, I'm half Mauritian. So I would 
I would be so ashamed. But now obviously I'm not. I embrace every single part of me and who I am. But that's how I was before. And also my other least favourite thing is people would always chuck food at me. I've had Oreos chucked. I've had like Chris chucked at me. I don't know what else has been chucked at me, but... I've this, your girl has had an Oreo to the head, I can tell you that. What is your ethnicity? My ethnicity is I'm half Mauritian, half Gujarati. What's your nickname? I don't really have a nickname, but some people like to call me Nush. How can you get rid of pesky, stubborn acne scarring? Dermal rolling is the way to go. And obviously with the re um, relevant products, like good products that work for you, but dermal rolling will definitely make a difference. Are you going to post a video in Crayola? By the way, love your videos. By the way, thank you. Um, I really, really, really want to post a video in Crayola, but obviously with exams and stuff, it's really hard. So I'll be done in three weeks. So hopefully right after then, I plan to do one as soon as possible. So hopefully beginning, end of May or beginning June. Hello. What the hell's on your leg? Um, I have my contact lens solution in my bag and it leaked. What the hell? I didn't realise in the bus because I'm looking at my leg. I was like, why is it looking at my leg? And I saw and I was like... <laughs> have you ever been bullied? And what advice would you give to someone who is getting bullied? Um, was I bullied? I don't know. Compared to other people, I don't know if I was bullied. Maybe I was, I guess. But I don't... But then I feel like it got to a point where I was sick of people bullying me so then I became a mean person so no one could be mean to me. And I feel like that's the worst thing. And if you are being bullied, just try to be the better person. When school is... Uh, to, for me, school is like the worst thing ever. Like, it's been the worst thing for me. But if you are being bullied, try to be the better person. Try to talk to someone. Let, if it's that bad, please talk to someone. Like, tell your parents. Because my little brother was getting bullied and by someone at school so he told us and obviously we went to school and sorted it out so there is a way to you know sort it out we did we went to school and spoke to teachers spoke to the boy and you know it got a bit better like my my chair's going down i'll definitely give you advice to speak to someone don't let anyone push you around don't let don't 